action on this works nice and easy. Have this mounted flat, pull this up, throw the paddles up, and you're ready to take them all down again. Hey everybody, it's PJ from Wisconsin Air Gunners, and we're here today talking about a target system from RX Target Systems. I'll put the uh, website address up there, but it's just rxtargetsystems.com. Uh, we're looking at one of their targets today. It's a premium air gun knockdown target. Um, we've got it working, depending on which paddles you put on it, from down in the four foot pound range all the way up to over 50 foot pounds. It's a really cool setup, and uh, we, think, uh, we think you'll like it if you give it a shot. The target itself has a couple of different components. So uh, that's probably the best angle right there. I feel like I'm doing mug shots. This is one of them. This has five one-inch circles on it. Another one has kind of a know your limits or a competition style with three-quarter, one, and two-inch circles. And then the one we currently have loaded up, kind of a know your limit setup, starting at two and going down to a half inch. Now what you're actually shooting are steel paddles. Dave, Dave over at RX Target Systems makes two paddles. He's got the thin ones, and these are I believe 10 gauge steel. And he's got the big boys. These are quarter inch. And they're attached to the target on this guide rod. So what happens from the target's perspective is that your pellet comes in, shoots the paddles down. So what happens from your bench is you grab the string, you give it a nice little pull, all your targets are up, you're ready to go again. Whether you're using the heavy quarter inch paddles or the lighter paddles, the action's the same. It's interchangeable. You unthread this rod, pull it out, put the new paddles in, thread it back up. There are spacers in between there. The placement of the spacers is important. If you don't put the spacers in, the paddles kind of work dependent of one another and it's possible if you get a shot kind of on the side of the paddle off to the side of one of the circles if you don't have the spacers in you might take the neighboring paddle down with it but uh, all you have to do is just thread that right up it's simple it works um, and we've had a lot of fun shooting these targets and we have shot these targets so we've spent the last couple of months shooting these targets and uh, this is what we've discovered we can shoot from three to four foot pounds, um, and the gun we used to check the low end was a Beeman P17 177, uh, just single stroke pneumatic pistol, um, and it'll knock the light paddles down. And we've got guns going up to 30 foot pounds that will reliably knock down the light paddles. What happens above 30 pounds, it doesn't do any damage to the target. You could shoot the light paddles with, we've shot the light paddles with 50 foot pounds. No damage to the target. Um, a little bit of, uh, you know, marking. You repaint that with a, a can of Rust-Oleum or whatever. No damage to the paddle. Paddles are perfect. But that excess energy comes in, the paddle slams back on the metal, and will tend to bounce back up. Honestly, if you don't care that it's auto resetting for you, shoot it up to 50, 60 foot pounds. We've done it. It doesn't make any difference to the target system. But if you want to knock it down and know it's knocked down and then you want to do the resetting, uh, the utility of this paddle stops at about 30 foot pounds, a little bit over 30 foot pounds. Um, the heavy paddles, the quarter inch ones, these big guys, these 
uh, will start to knock down pretty reliably um, in the 15 foot pound range. And we've shot these up over 50 foot pounds and they perform really well. Um, you get up to 50 foot pounds and you're getting to the limit of where these will knock down and stay down. Um, I don't have access to a 60 foot pound gun or I'd shoot them with a 60 foot pound gun. Uh, but at 52 or 53 foot pounds or something like that, um, we got them to knock down and stay down pretty reliably. So there is an upper limit. Now I know, uh, I know Dave talked to him um, when he sent this over for review and um, he is working on a dampening mechanism so that if you've got people who want to shoot it with 100 foot pounds that quarter inch steel plate will take 100 foot pounds no problem and the face plates um, they'll take that the, you know in the rare instance that you might miss and hit outside the, the kill zone the circle um, that'll take 100 foot pounds all day long uh, i have no idea what the upper limit on this would be in terms of that energy but it's it's pretty pretty tough stuff this is good good it's being made out of quality materials um, and you know you're, you're not going to break this target because you shot it with an air gun that's too strong uh, maybe if they actually make uh, a humorex hammer i don't know maybe that's too much power but like i said i don't have access to to one of those um, my my uh 50 foot foot pound gun is an fx crown 25 cal shooting the 33 grain jsbs that's the uh, the hottest i can go it's the hottest we tested so wouldn't you know it, shortly after we finished filming, one of our team members converted his FX crown to 30 caliber. So with Noah's crown, we were able to test the target system at about 830 feet per second, shooting the JSB 44.75 grain pellet. And this is putting out 68 foot pounds. And you're going to see what we found. There is an upper limit to the amount of energy, and what it does is when it hits, it will knock some of the other paddles down sometimes and occasionally knock a paddle down and bring another paddle back up. One of the things I like about the RX Target Systems product is that Dave, uh, the owner, is always trying to push things forward and make improvements to his product. This is actually the second generation of target of this style. And the first generation used kind of a hinge style uh, where this uses the threaded rod to hold the paddles. He's taken what he's learned from the development of the gunslinger targets from the Pyramid Air Cup and applied it to this target system. He's found a way to remove some metal from the base plate and it actually gives you pretty significant increase in the ability to shoot with a more powerful air gun. Now here's the cool part. He will give you the instructions on how to modify your existing target so that it performs better with higher foot-pound guns. It will not change the lower limit at all. So if you're shooting a low energy gun and it's working for you, you could do the modification or not. It's going to be just as effective as it was when you first got it. He will also sell you a new redesigned base plate and you don't have to rebuy the entire target system. There aren't a lot of companies out there that will do that. Now if I could only get FX to modify my crown and make it into a crown continuum, wouldn't that be sweet? In the end, do we recommend the RX Target Systems Bullseye Target? Yes. If you're looking for a durable target that is designed for air guns, if you want removable and replaceable faceplates so that you have variety in your shooting, if you want a system that will handle low FPE up to very high FPE, then RX Target Systems has what you need. This is a great time to be an air gunner. 
both the air gun companies and the pellet companies are coming out with great things and we're going to be able to make shots and take shots like never before. Unfortunately, the target companies haven't kept up and that's where RX Target Systems steps in. Somebody has finally built a system that will handle the 20 to 50 foot pound range and that's what we've been lacking. You can go right now to your local big box sporting goods store and they will either have targets that were designed for a sub 10 foot pound break barrel rifle or targets that were designed for 380, 9mm and 45 caliber pistols. You can shoot those but to be honest I've done that and they're not particularly reliable and when you can't knock the paddles down they're not particularly fun. So you can buy that 177 rated target, but if you shoot it with your FX, your Huben, your Daystate, your Brocock, your Diana, your Viral, any of those rifles are going to destroy that target faster than you can get it out of the box and get it assembled. The truth is, it's super easy to get excited about a product that's been designed specifically for the kind of shooting you do, and that's why we like this target so much. Dave's got a winner of a product and I recommend you check it out. We hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about the system that we can answer, put them in the comments below and we'll do our best to get back to you. If you like what you're seeing, we hope you'll subscribe and uh, we'll see you the next time around.